Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So, in the last episode, we got the tracks done. She's all done and dusted there. All this thing needs now is a service and it is ready to go on the air seeder and go to work. Now, the only problem with that is this thing needs a 1500 hour service. It's not quite there. It's done like 1420 hours, but it's not gonna make it through seeding. Uh, 1500 hours means it's due for hydraulic oil and all the filters and there's a little bit to be done, but we will work on getting this done today. Got a load of fertilizer coming in the afternoon and then at some stage we'll try and get connected up to the air seeder and the bar and get everything checked over there. But first things first, we're gonna be doing this. Even dad's put on his mechanics hat. This, uh, this loader was due for its 250 hour service. So he's bought that in yesterday and started doing that. And unfortunately as well, these brakes at the back are completely stuffed. So we've got a set of brake pads to go on here. So we might both be down here mechanicing today. We'll see how it all pans out. It's pretty rare that dad comes down and fixes something, but you know, when things have got to be done, they've got to be done. Fire this thing up, get everything circulating and warmed up a little bit before we dump the oil. <laughs> Get our oil filter draining. Now, because we have a fully equipped workshop with factory trained technicians, we're gonna use some 20 litre containers to drain this oil into. And because it takes more than 20 litres, we're gonna use a, a 10 litre as well. <laughs> and in. Isn't that what it sounds like after you eat a curry? And because I'm fussy like that, I've got a new O-ring to go on this drain plug. So you guys thought that was good. You wait till I gotta drain the diff oil and do that 20 litres at a time. I think there's about 200 litres in there. But you know, it's all part of the experience, guys. There's no point complaining about it. Just get into it and get the job done. Just do the job, best job you can with the tools you got at your disposal. That's all we can do. And try and have fun while you're doing it. Mechanics touch that one. So I was just getting rid of some waste oil then and I was tipping it into the funnel and I was thinking, man, this is just going so slow. It's it's draining out of the funnel so slow. What's going on? Well, I had to reach around in there and I found that little guy in there and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, I don't think that was the ending he was hoping for. All right, we'll spin some filters. The fun part, I've got plenty of filters to spin on here. This is just the start. You're kidding me, aren't you? You are kidding me. Exactly what you want to do to your oil filter cap, isn't it? We'll get him cleaned up. Bit of brake cleaner. Always crack the bleed plug and then crack the filter so it's got, uh, it doesn't get an airlock and it can suck air in through that top seal and then the diesel will just drain out. Messy bugger. So it does actually say to replace our air filters and our outer cab filter on this service, which I have here, but because we're gonna start seeding and it is as dry as a dead dingo's donger out there, these things are just gonna be inhaling dust. So I don't really see the point in putting brand new filters in just to clog them up with dust straight away. We can get through a couple of weeks of seeding and then when these are dirty again, we'll just replace them with the new ones out in the field. That way I don't have to try and clean them out. So we'll give these a blowout and we'll whack them back in and they can go for a couple of weeks of seeding, hopefully. <laughs> I know some people get a bit funny about blowing out air filters, but honestly, I don't really care because, well, look, obviously when you blow out an air filter, you get dust coming out of this side and it just naturally goes back in the clean side because, well, it's just creating a vacuum when you're blowing through from the inside. So inevitably you can contaminate the inside of your filter, but that's why on these machines you have two air filters. You don't touch your inner one, you just leave it 
you don't blow it out, you don't disturb it. That's your second stage of filtration. So any dust that ends up back on the inside of this one when you blow it out should be caught by that one there. So no, I don't get too caught up on it. cycled the key a couple of times to prime the fuel up and I can't hear any more gurgling or bubbling or anything so we'll crank it and see if she'll go. No dramas. Well, looks like I'll need a tool for that. So all I gotta do here is throw some grease into this thing, some guards back on, and then we're gonna swing it around and we can do the hydraulic oil, filters, steering filter, all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to leave this for now though because my fertilizer truck is gonna be here a couple of hours earlier than expected. So I need to go over and get everything set up and I'm gonna need to go get some fuel for the augers because we're just about out and well, we need fuel for the seed and fur trailer and all that sort of thing. So go fill up, get the auger set up and uh, we'll take that delivery of that fertilizer and. We'll come back here and carry on after. Not too bad, how are you? Oh, that's pretty full. We need to fill that one up. All right, that is all set up. He should only be about 15 minutes away according to his message, but beautiful day for setting up the tarp. There's hardly a breath of wind out here and just gorgeous, 21, 22 degrees. Couldn't get any better. I was hoping to grab a bite to eat before he got here, but I don't think that's gonna happen now, so might have just settle for a glass of water. Well, I barely got a glass of water in before he arrived. Didn't even turn the ute off, but did wash all that dirt off my nose, so I don't know how long that had been there for, but anyway. And he's confusing me because he's got a new truck, so I did see the truck coming down the road as I drove back, but I didn't think it was him because it's a big white truck and I'm used to him having a big blue truck. she just barely fit in there but we got it so uh the map we put over in the other bin over there that fit in no worries but man we were getting a little nervous there for a while we'll try one handed these doors are heavy Ooh. well it was like 11 11 30 when i left the shed over there working on the tractor it's now 10 past two so yeah that killed some time but anyway it's done fertilizers in the bins probably need to order some diesel and yeah then we can go seeding. So before we get back to that tractor, I am gonna go get some food because I've hardly eaten anything today. Well, lunch was good, but I've got a big problem and that is that I've only got about an hour or so left today before I'm gonna have to get going. We're not gonna be here tonight and I'm spending the day with the kids tomorrow on Saturday. So 
Look, we'll go down, we'll get some grease in this tractor, get it spun around and start draining some diff and trans oil and then we're gonna have to reconvene this on Sunday. Near as bad as the fire on the spray. <laughs> or a big eight fire. Uh, I believe. So, no, I thought, that, I thought they were smarter than that. I thought that's why they had good noses. I don't know. I'm walking. Chuck his nose in, in the bucket. Well, it was probably a bucket to get a car. But, yeah, it's some point. Yeah. It's very good. Did it survive? Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, that's unbelievable. Well, Dad's brake job on the loader has come to a screaming halt because if you look down in there, it's a bit hard maybe to see, but the dust boot on the pistons on both sides is starting to separate and crack. So we're a bit worried that if we just change the pads and put everything back together that uh, eventually those pistons are going to seize up and it looks like possibly on the other side that it already has. So uh, a couple of phone calls have been made. But yeah, we're all greased on here. I've measured the fan belt, checked the auxiliary drive belt there, all good. Covers are back on. We'll fire this thing up, spin it around, and uh, yeah, we'll start draining some oil from the diff. Wish me luck. I doubt very much that this is going to be fun. Well, welcome back everybody and happy Sunday. I had an absolutely awesome day off yesterday with the family, but unfortunately, I got a lot of work that I'm trying to break the back of and that means that we're going to try and finish servicing this tractor here today. So where we finished off on Friday, I finished draining the oil out of the diff. So today I've just got to pull the drain plug out the trans, check a screen in the bottom there, change a couple of filters, we'll start refilling the hydraulic oil. Then this thing's about done, give it all clean up, get it on the bar and just keep moving on and on and on from there. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to lie, the workshop, oh sorry, the owner's manual is a little bit confusing because it tells me to take that cover off and there's a drain plug back here, but there is not. So I assume I've got to pull this one out here if you guys can see that. Well, this thing doesn't appear to take anywhere near the amount of oil that I thought it was going to. I think I've probably taken out like 140 liters maybe i reckon our old t series used to take more than that so the book just tells you to have a look up here at the filter screen and see if it's dirty i mean it's not a very good way of checking it but it looks pretty dang squeaky clean to me so i don't know that we'll bother pulling it out i'm all for less work that's fine last three filters to do and then we'll whack some oil in here this one here's our steering filter so Get him done. I'm assuming these filters are under here, the hydraulic filters, but uh, I'm gonna find out in a sec, I suppose. Oh, look at that, would ya? Nice. Now, yeah, just make sure I got the right filter here before I go ripping anything off. 210857. Yep, now they look good. I'm actually impressed with that. They got a nice little V channel there which directs the oil straight down to a hole underneath which stops you from making too much of a mess. I gave one of these forks an almighty tweak the other day when I was trying to pull a um, tree out of a creek there so I could cut some wood. So I need to give that a bit of a tweak back, but we've got some oil there. We're gonna crank that in, fire this bad boy up. 
got all the tools guys. I'll see you in about a hundred and something litres worth. Well there's a bit of a procedure to checking this hydraulic oil. I've filled it and then I've run it, let everything fill back up the transmission and everything, then I've topped it up again. I've got to run it again at 1200 RPM, make sure the oil's between 20 and 40 degrees and then shut it off, let it sit for five minutes. So we'll do all of that and try and get the level right. Well, we're right in that zone on the side glass, so I think we can leave that oil there now. We'll get this thing out of here around to the other side and give it a wash up. I might actually just connect to the bar now and take that around because I also want to give that a good wash up. It's had oil all over it from those leaking hydraulic cylinders and also there's been a couple of tyne cylinders that have been leaking, so we'll might as well just drag that around there with us now. late start but we managed to get a little bit done for the day so we're going to continue this clean up in the morning i'll see you guys then morning everyone how you going <laughs> Didn't think you're gonna get out here without getting on camera. There <laughs> you go, mate. Here's Thanks, mate. Cheers. Well, there goes nearly an hour of standing around talking, but it's gonna be another broken day today, and that's exactly why I was working yesterday because I knew well, I've got the sister coming past today. They're on their way up north for a bit of a holiday, so I'll have to catch up with them. And yeah, the agronomist has been out. I lost an hour there, so. One way or another, we will get that air seeder connected though this episode and get it all dialed in. But yeah, I have to run into town now and pick up a whole heap of stuff with the trailer on, so I'm gonna go do that and then uh, I'll catch up with you guys after. Caught up with the sister for lunch, then I uh, yeah, I went into town, I picked up a heap of old tyres for our old rubber rollers, they're a really oddball size. And yeah, those old rubber rollers are crap and they're small, but if we can get them going again, then they can sure as hell roll a few hundred acres for us a year. We'll just throw a bit of fossil juice in this thing. Check some tyre pressures on this bar. Then we're gonna connect up to the air seeder, give everything a run, make sure everything's working, and we'll give that a little wash off too. And by the time we do all that, I think we are just about ready to go, and thank goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna lift it and then I'm gonna drag it back this way and then I just need the drum back under it. guys we're almost there but uh i'm definitely more of a harvest guy than a seeding guy if i'm honest seeding tends to stress me out a little bit there's just so much to go wrong so many moving pieces and you generally only get one crack at it because uh well in our area anyway if you have any mistakes with the seeder uh, that could cost you a lot of money at harvest time all I've got to worry about most of the time is the header, and that is it. The header and the augers, and the rest of it takes care of itself. Oh, 
Well, we are finally connected. Yes. <laughs> we still got a horseshoe in here from last seeding, so I think we'll run a horseshoe counter this year. We normally pick up a couple still, but I reckon we had a particularly good year last year. I reckon we probably got three or four, but if they're still out there, we still collect them. So we'll see how many we get this year. Maybe, maybe we won't get any, but you never know. Maybe we'll get half a dozen. Just got our ticking over slowly at the moment, just making sure everything's all good. All right, we might give her a few more berries and see how she's looking. But it works first time, so that's a good thing. Fan RPM there climbing, looking good. Everything's looking and sounding pretty good at the moment. I might just fold this up and we'll just run out to a paddock out here and yeah, just just go along and do a little bit of a test run. Well, I'm pretty sure everything's working. We're getting our speed, we're getting our hectares an hour, we've got our fan speed, we've got fan or air pressure. It's telling me the bins are low, they are. Our fur and seed rates are going up to where they need to, so I think everything's looking really good. Plus I can see most of those seeding boots blowing dust when it gets over the right sort of ground where it's a bit loose and that, so that side of it's looking really good too. We might just check our doors on the bottom of the air seat to make sure we got no air leaks there and yeah, we'll go blow some dust off it and finish the day. All good. Look, I really just have to do that to clean all the bird crap off of it, but we all know that we're gonna turn that thing brown within about 15 minutes of being out seeding because it's drier than a dead dingo's ukulele out here. But let's park this thing up and we'll call her ready for seeding, you beauty. I almost forgot the tire pressure's for the air seeder. All right, done and dusted, ready to roll. When are we going to start? Oh, I don't know, probably sometime in the next week. I've just got a bit of stuff to do to the sprayer and yeah, we'll just see how things pan out. But I'm sort of thinking maybe this weekend. What's the date today, just for reference? It's the 15th of April, so I'd want to be going by the 20th, roughly, I suppose. So anyway with all that being said i just want to say thank you to everyone for watching the video we really do appreciate it if you'd like to support the channel or you want to see more videos just consider liking and subscribing because that really helps us out you guys have yourselves a good one until next time see ya